Hey bros, what is up? My name is Jared from Jared Gaming, and we are back for episode 12, an episode that everybody has been waiting for, and it's extremely long, so I split it into two parts to make it uh, 12 and 13, so really part uh, episode 13 is actually part 2 of episode 12, but we're just going to call it episode 13. And also, a lot of people have been asking, hey Jared, um, when is it going to be out? If you guys, I constantly say, go to the Facebook page, go to the Facebook page, go to the Facebook page, and send an application, you know, all you gotta do is send a friend request, you'll automatically get accepted, and go to the channel, well, the Facebook page, which represents the whole channel, and it'll tell you what episodes are coming out, how far along I'm coming along, and what day I think that they'll be out. Also, if you guys care, it also talks about what I might be doing in my personal life, like, hey, going to the beach, going surfing, things like that, Think events that are coming up, and also things like that, or maybe even posters and t-shirts. So, if you guys want to, go to there, and this is a speed build, so I'll talk to you guys after. Okay, we are done. Okay, so now we're inside the hotel, as you guys can tell, and those are two elevator shafts that we've built. The next thing that we are going to do is we're going to come in here, seal up this with some stone. Now we're going to do this to all floors, so go ahead and do that now. And I did not use any redstone, I just did it the old-fashioned way with a ladder. If you guys feel want to, feel free to go ahead and build a... Uh, redstone elevators but i'm going to tell you right now it's going to make your world lag and no everybody's going to hate your world so that's one reason why i didn't choose like why i chose because redstone just lags incredibly bad on the xbox 360 maybe it might be better on the playstation 4 or playstation 3 or even the xbox one when that comes out due to the better ram but xbox 360 does not have very good ram and the internet connection for xbox 360 yes it does depend on what you guys have but most of it uh, also depends on the RAM, so it's just about the game, and I advise not to do it. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to get our birch wood out, and we're just going to do it right here on this level. We're going to keep this hole open. You guys can also build stairs if you want to, but I feel like a ladder is a lot quicker. And there's also the minecart technique, but I chose not to do it, be mainly because I don't know how. And I don't want to, uh, you know, make a big long deal about it. But if you guys feel free to do anything you guys want, this is just how I'm doing it because it's a lot easier. And I'm just going to put stone right here. Cap it with stone. Go back down to the bottom. Get your ladders out. And put the ladder all the way up the side. If I can. And it's behind me. Remove it. Okay. There we go. Next thing we're going to do is fill in the ceiling. That's the only one we actually fill in solid. The rest of them are like this. We'd make that cap so they can't see the electrical wiring that we'll be doing later with redstone on every single floor. Then we're leaving that air gap, like I said. And we're going to do this to every single floor. And I'm only going to show it how to do it to one elevator. And then the other elevator I'm going to do a speed build on. So it'll just get done really quick. Because it's actually set up the same exact way. So you're just going to be repeating the pattern over again.
Okay, so we should almost be done. Oh wow, we are done. Okay. Like I said, I'm gonna go into speed build no mat mode now. I'm gonna do this side. Okay, so we're going to remove it here, and I actually got to add another one right there. So if you guys could do that now. Okay, so we're about to skip um, a part in a minute. Okay, so we're at the bottom of the hotel. Now what we're doing is we're actually planning to build a little um i think it's called a roulette table um where like a ball goes around the side like the spin thing and has to land on a number i don't remember what it's actually called but i'm pretty sure somebody will comment and tell me what it is but right now we're just trying to figure out what colors we're trying to use and we're not going to use brown i think it's black and red that we're going to do so if you guys go from here this window here and just go over to uh that's where we place the first block we're gonna use see we're gonna use uh yeah black and red phil's that's phil and bob with me today bob is actually doing a little bit of the decorating um he's the one that's designed some of the tables and he and i think i can't remember don't hold me on this but i think that phil designed the gambling machine how we're gonna actually do it but i designed the mechanics of it I think so. I know I designed the mechanics. I just don't remember who came up with the design. But, um, so this is the table right here. Okay, so I said that we should do it like this. But I thought it looked really stupid and I didn't really think about it. So we're just going to go back to the crafting tables. Because they have like little squares on them that make it look like cards. You know like card holders or whatever. Or where you would lay your cards down. So let's just do that. Okay so I'm about to uh, recount for you guys. And I'll show you guys where it'll be. Okay. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and it starts on the 11th block and continues until we reach the end. So it starts on the 11th. I'll recount again for you guys. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. On the 11th block we start. Then 12, 13, 14, 15. Where it ends. Okay. So now that's the roulette table or whatever it's called. Now what we're going to do is we're going to come over here. And I'm going to show you guys how to make one. So this window here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So here. 
So you make sure you guys go this way. So it's this. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Oh, maybe it was 10. I don't know. I miscounted. But whatever. It's 11. They match up perfectly. We already tested it. And it's ready to roll. And actually, it was on the wrong one. It's actually supposed to be over here. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Then we do 6. So it's the second window in, if you guys can tell. It's not actually over here. It's uh, moved over a little bit more to right here. And then we got to match up the black and the red correctly too. So it's this way. Then just do that and then add trapdoors around the circle. And this is the design. So it was Phil that came up with this kind of design. But um, we're gonna actually gonna use jungle wood. I don't like the stone. So what we're gonna need is we're gonna need jungle wood, jungle wood stairs, dispensers, and you guys are gonna need some other stuff. But in a minute, I'll show you guys, which is stone house labs as well. But um, see, it's from this piece of this window. It's a four block gap, actually a five block gap. Uh, I think it was seven. Hold on, we're gonna recount. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's a seven block gap between this, so it's now six. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to line them up on the other side. And we're not actually going to use this many dispensers. We're just lining them up like this to begin with. The next thing that we are going to do is get our jungle wood. In our jungle wood stairs but we're gonna get dirt we're gonna go like this take it to three blocks high bring it all the way across go underneath place your upside down stairs we're actually gonna do every other one because you guys cannot place uh, stairs I meant item frames like in between an item if you get what I'm trying to say. So we're going to remove this here. Move the middle. So remove all the ones that we don't need. And we're going to place a jungle wood block underneath each one. We're going to come on the other side now. Oh, wait, never mind. We're going to remove the dirt. I'm sorry. Now we're going to get our dirt back up. Go three blocks high on the third block, bring it all the way down to the end so we can make our upside down stairs. It doesn't matter what block you guys use to do it like this with, I just use dirt. So now we're just going to go put our upside down stairs. Now I'm just going to remove the center after I move the dirt. Okay, so remove the centers now. So now what we're doing is we're adding levers to this side. So make sure it's on the right side as you guys can tell. So if you guys are on the side that Phil was actually on, it should be on the right side. And I was going to do stone stairs like this to make it kind of like a jungle theme. And then I was like, what the hell am I doing? It's not a jungle theme. It's supposed to be like Vegas. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch it to um, stone slabs instead of stone brick slabs. Because it's like a whiter color and it looks a lot nicer. But we are going to be putting um, jungle planks in the center to cover up the dispensers. Now what you guys are going to want to do is, in a minute I'm going to actually change a little bit of this. So I'm going to get my jungle wood stairs out again. I'm going to put them like this. Up three high and then flip them upside down. Flip them upside down like um, this there remove all that junk fill it I gotta fix that and now we're gonna go on the other side and do the same exact thing Okay, so this is how it works. 
Now, if you guys want whatever currency you guys want to do, if you guys a want to do a currency or anything at all, just randomly sprinkle around um, some iron ink. Or, I meant um, nuggets into each machine. So I'm just gonna remove all these. Okay, so this is how you would do it. You just place them randomly in a machine. The person doesn't know if they're actually in the machine. And you guys could just sprinkle them around like that. Have a pattern to it if you guys would like. And uh, remember, if you guys have a more of a pattern, the likelihood of them getting it is better. So if you guys just have one block filled instead of all nine, then it's a higher, it's a lower chance I meant for them to actually win. So if you guys want to, it's cost like one nugget to win. You know, or like, I don't know, one nugget for five plays or something like that. Then, you know, that's how you guys can play. Now, I'm actually going to switch it to stone. Because I like the color of it a lot better. So, as you guys can tell, the lovers are on the opposite ends of each one. They're always on the right side. So, if you're facing... Uh, like this side here, the levers would be on that on the right side of that machine. So I'm just going to be placing item frames now. But if you're on this side, it'd be on the right side as well. So it's always on the right side of the machine. So I'm going to be placing um, some of these item frames on here. We're going to be placing them on the front of the machine, as you guys can tell. What you want to do is get a stone button and place it inside of each item frame on the front of the machine only. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Okay, now that that is complete, we can move on to placing, um, I was gonna actually do pressure plates on there, but we can't. So what we're gonna do is, don't worry about actually what Phil's doing, that's off topic, that's not actually in the episode, that's just designs for later on. Okay, so I'm just gonna be placing torches randomly, you guys don't have to, you guys can choose to. This is just to light it up until I do the electrical work so I can actually see and uh, so you guys can see. It doesn't really matter if you guys um, put them or not. Okay, so it's one, two, three, four, five, six. So I just wanted to show you that. Okay, so we're gonna come over here. It's on this block here, one, two, three, four, five, six. And I'm gonna place, move up one block like this. So on the sixth block, it's gonna be like this. So that's how to mark it, that I know that it starts right there. I need to fill it in with birch now. I'm going to be skipping every other block. And then it counts right here. One, two, three, four. So I'm going to remove that one. So that's how many dispensers we actually need. And then we're going to face him on the back, so... I actually forgot that it's supposed to be right here. So I had the dispensers facing the wrong way. So it's one... One 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine total dispensers. We're going to remove these because uh, they're facing the wrong direction. But now we're going to face them in the right direction. The next thing we are going to do is get our jungle blocks and our dirt blocks so we can uh, do our upside down stairs and build the machines as well. So what we are going to want to do is go three blocks high again, bring it all the way across. Once we do that, we're going to get our jungle wood stairs and we're going to place them on the under part right in front of each machine. Remove the dirt blocks, place the jungle wood block underneath each one. Okay. Do the same thing on the other side. Place a plank underneath each stair. On this side, I need to do the upside down stairs. And fix this, then remove the dirt. Place our jungle wood blocks in between each of the machines. On top of each dispenser, place a stone slab. Then let's do our item framework. Now we're going to the other side. Put them on the side of these. Put a button on each in each side of one of inside of each of one of them. Get a lever. Put them on the right side of each one. Turn and put them on the right side of this one. Okay, now we're done doing buttons. Now what we're going to do is place the item frames on the side of the machines. Okay, so now that we got this done, we can move on to other things. <laughs> Actually, um, never mind. So, again, don't build the thing in the front, uh, because we haven't designed it actually yet. We're just coming out with the design, that's why it's not in this episode yet. So this area we're going to be building a little race car just for decoration because uh, some casinos actually have race cars kind of like um, just randomly placed for uh, I don't know just for decoration I guess so we're going to build one. <laughs> Now 
This is the worst race car I've ever seen. Um, hold on one minute. I'm gonna go look at the one I built earlier. I can't remember how we built it. Oh, there it is. Okay. Yeah, I was way wrong. I'm gonna have to go take another look at it. We're gonna need a gray wool block too. Okay, now let's go back to where we are building it. I'm gonna move these tires back one place. And place this here, and this and this. I'm gonna do this, this, flip it upside down. Turn. There we go. Get some redstone torches in a minute. Place them right here. Okay, so now we're going to go on the other side and build the one on the same exact place. So I'm just trying to figure out where it's going to be. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. Then one, two, then one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, chair, our little gray wool block, do our stairs, our little thing on the back, our tires. And our lights. Next, we're going to get an item frame and place them on each tire. With a little button in the center to act as like um, a bolt. <clears throat> Sorry. Didn't mean to turn it. There we go. And we're done. We're going to get glass panes. Don't use what I'm using. Because we're just going to remove it. I have to move Phil. He's, he's AFK. So I'm pushing him. Okay, so get your glass panes out. And we're going to outline it how I am right now. So if you guys do with, it, with glass panes instead of iron then uh, it'll save you guys a lot of time because I'm going to tear it down in a minute anyways. There we go. So that's what it's supposed to look like. See, I told you I was going to replace it. Okay, so all I'm doing right now is I'm removing the iron blocks and I'm remove or the defense posts or grating or gates or whatever, and I'm replacing it with glass panes because it looks a lot nicer and it's a lot more clean and uh, it's supposed to act as a barrier, 
to um like if any of any of you guys have been in the casino then uh they have like usually nice things like a car maybe or something and they have it roped off well this is kind of like the rope you're not supposed to go beyond this point so it's just marking off that you guys don't have to add it if you guys do not want to it just adds class to it if you guys uh feel free to do it or not Okay, now that we have both done, we are going to start to do something else. <laughs> <clears throat> so, um, I just skipped ahead a little bit because I didn't know what I was going to do. So, I'm actually, I actually screwed up on this. It's the other way around. <laughs> and it needs to be moved out one block. Now, um, somebody might not think that this is important, but it actually is very important that uh, this is done correctly. And I messed up on the colors. Now we put this. Okay, there, we're ready to rock and roll, guys. Um, so, we just moved it over one block, and that's why I was punching the air. See how it's like this on this one? Um, move that one over one as block as well. That's what I was trying to tell you guys. Well, actually, you don't have to move that one. Um... But, um, we are gonna have to move the casino table because, like, the gambling machines because, um, on the other machine it's all messed up. So, what I'm doing right now is I'm just making chairs for, uh, people to sit in while they play. You actually cannot sit in them, they're just for decoration. But I'm moving really slow because, um, these things are a pain to line up. That's why I'm moving so slow. It helps me to move slower, so... But if you guys want to go ahead, it's just a fence post with a pressure plate on top. And then if you go behind it, you're going to place a iron, <coughs> iron, uh, an item frame. Sorry about that. And um, you're going to place the item frame on the back of the pressure plate. And it will should stay there as long as you don't break it. See, like this. So uh, go on every single chair. And that's what you're just going to do. Now we're going to go to the other side. Okay, I need to get in this crack real quick. But do not move, um, I was wrong. Do not move the, um, little tape. Remember when we broke down that one table and moved it? Well, don't move the one, this one right over the ear. Because, uh, that one's correct and they're both correct. I think I was just punching the air to show that it's supposed to be there. But, um, see how the machine isn't, they're not supposed to be up against that glass. And that's because the machine is one too far off the wall. I accidentally did that. That's my fault. And, um, see, it's supposed to be like this. It's not supposed to touch that glass. So, we're going to have to work on that. So, we're going to tear down the machine and move it over. <clears throat> this is, I was just trying to figure out what was wrong. That's why I was flying back and forth. I thought the cars was what was wrong. But, um, then when I actually looked closely, it was the machines. Don't do anything I'm about to do. Don't do this. <laughs> Sorry I'm showing it, but um, it's just, it would take a lot longer to cut it out than it would just for you guys to watch it. See how it's supposed to be uh, over one more? There's only supposed to be a one block gap behind the thing instead of a two, and that's what I realized what I messed up on. But, um... I was telling Phil I'm just going to roll with it at this point and he was like don't because it's going to look stupid and you're going to regret it so I'm not going to roll with it I'm actually going to fix it so let's do that so if you guys could can you guys delete that little gambling machine the slot machines or whatever and move them over one block towards the windows just wanted to make sure that this lined up and it does okay see Sorry I'm showing all this crap, but <clears throat> I got to. So I'm just going to remove all this. I 
Okay. So I tore down the machines, and I moved them over by one block. And I broke that. Fuck my life. Okay. So, um, I gotta rebuild this little piece right here real quick. And then I'll tell you guys what to do next. <sighs> God damn it. <laughs> Okay, there we go. So it's supposed to look like that. So again, move this over one block this way. This way, right here. See? It's only supposed to be three gaps. It was four, so uh, that was a mess up. Okay. Now we're ready to roll, and we're about to just put in our little chairs. Again, if you guys want to find out when the new episodes will be coming out, um, send a friend request to the Facebook page, the Jerry Gaming Facebook page. It will be accepted, and you guys will be able to know. And I always post when it'll be out, as if uh, because most people know um, that episode 12 when it was coming out, because I've been keeping up and I was telling everybody how far along I was with it. So they all knew. So if you guys want to know, just go to the Facebook page and look. Okay, so now we're just going to place the item frames behind. Okay, so now we're done with that. I don't, uh, Phil's gone at this time. If you guys haven't noticed, he's not on right now. He, uh, left at this point, I think, in the video. No, no, wait, there he is, he's red. Yeah, he was still working on that thing that he's building, because it's going to be a design for the entrance, but we're not going to put it in episode 12 or 13. It'll be around 14 that we actually in incorporate that. Okay, so we're out front, as you guys can tell, if you guys did not notice. And what we are going to do is we are going to actually just fill this layer right here in with uh, stone brick slabs. Or stone slab, uh, just regular stone slabs, not stone brick slabs, sorry. And you're just going to fill it in like this all the way to the other side. And what we're doing is we're actually going to put lighting out here. And um, I might do some stupid things with the lighting, but it looks good. But um, I figured out after I made this that if it doesn't look too bright and it looks very dull, what you're going to have to do is just get like a dirt block and place it next to the um, redstone lamp and just keep doing that. Because what it is, it's just a lighting glitch. And mine, I don't know why, but... 4J Studios has never fixed the lighting glitch ever in this game. Out of all the updates they've ever had, they've never fixed it. And I don't know why, I don't know if they realize that it's been doing it, but I wish they would fix it because it's quite annoying of the lighting glitch in this game. Especially when there's like a forest fire and it's gone, and the whole forest is still lit up. It's really annoying actually, because then for me, if I was recording, I'd have to end it so that there was no light, and it's just a pain. <clears throat> Man, my throat's sore today. That's on a side note, guys. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I'm glad that so many people actually love the series because I like building it a lot. It's just that I wish I had more time to be able to do it. Unless somebody wants to come to my house and do my homework, then feel free to do that because I don't like doing my homework. <laughs> so right here, we're going to break it and then we're going to skip one, then two, then skip one, then three, skip one and three, and skip one and two. And skip one and one. Okay, now you got what you're gonna do is you guys are gonna fill it in with glowstone lamps. And if you guys haven't noticed, it's the front of the hotel actually on the ceiling again. And the point of this is it's a very symbolic meaning. It's like the I guess you would say it's like the casino logo. And some people might not know like what it is. Is I think I've explained it in the other episode that these three uh, 
these six lines actually symbolize what the hotel, how it was created. And that's why it's on there. It's just a little bit of symbolism. And I think it's, it makes the hotel have like a little bit of a backstory. So if somebody's like, hey, why are the lights like this? You guys can explain that if you look at the hotel, that's what it kind of looks like. And that's why it's there. So I'm just laying redstone on top of each one. I need to go probably over here. Yeah, I need to. So I'm just going to break this block here and come in here and place it on there. Okay, so you're about to see the lighting glitch because it happened to me. It didn't look very bright at all. And I'm going to fix that because it's just going to bug me if I know it's there. And what you're going to do is just place a redstone torch. Now, what I'm about to do is really, really stupid, so don't do what I'm going to do. I keep breaking the torch and hoping that that's going to fix it, but it doesn't. See how on one side it's all lit up, but it's not? All you guys have to do is place a dirt block, and it should fix it. And if not, then it's probably just a bug with your guy's world, and it should be fixed every once in a while. But see how I'm just breaking it, and I'm trying to relay it down? That does nothing. It just doesn't fix it. But uh, if you just place a block on the ceiling, it fixes the problem uh, forever, I think. Because that's what I did for the interior when I do the lights in episode 13. But thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, guys. And we'll pick up episode 13 right here. Bye, guys.